Okay, cool. Hello, and welcome to the next part. Obviously, for you, it's only been a second, but for me, I actually had to get here and find this place because I wasn't too sure quite what Amber Vale was, if I'm honest. Um, color magic stealing and missiles, we can deal with that. Um, yeah, so this is obviously the next part of the final story plot. Uh, it looks like we're not going to be talking to Ritz in this series. It, it's the impression that I get. Who have I forgotten? Oh, yeah, one guy's in prison. Okay, so we're going to be doing this without one person, which, you know, isn't great, but that's the pickle that we've got ourselves into. Um, obviously, I've been cutting out all of the in-between so that you guys don't have to watch me like do team prep and mess about in the map and uh, running away from the plan matches because I don't want to do them right now because I'm very involved in the final part of the story. It's just color magic, isn't it? Don't need to apply any of them. But yeah, no, so what we'll have to do is clear out all of these monsters before the Judge Master appears. I'm pretty much guessing because that makes sense. And yeah, it's no big deal. Obviously, I hope you guys um, agree because I obviously I, I haven't talked about the, the dollar plot because I've just shown you the cutscenes. Um, I wonder what you guys think. Like, I thought it was actually, you know, really a sweet and finalizing part of that chapter of the game. Um, it, was, it was touching, I think, as well. Like Marsh's reason for like not saying he had everything in the other world was, was like, okay, kind of like maybe a bit arroganty, but you know, I thought it was kind of nice personally, and I, I felt touched. Not in like my special place, but in a good way. I think part of me would love to have done this series without talking. Okay, cool. Yeah, you've got... Uh... Your sword on. A bit in... Unlucky, but there's not a lot we can do about it. Oops, sorry, I do want you there. Uh... Context and then air render? There we go, so we'll air render him. It'll be a nice bit of damage. side they all have to go through this kill zone which I might be able to rape a really nice use of if I get a nice if for off here. It might not work, they might all dodge it. This could be like 500 damage possibly if it hits everyone. Okay well still that was 300 damage which is pretty good. I think um, I, I, I'd question whether triple mana is worth it, but I mean, you know, it's not tonight. On the plus side, he's now in the open, and he's trying to hit someone he can't hit, which is weird of the computer. Um, and yeah, so, it's gone pretty well. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all. That is very impolite of you, madam. Uh, how much health have you got? Okay, well, you have a lot more health than I do now. Uh, so I'm going to try and kill the dog before I move on. I feel like that's the safe thing to do. Don't forget as well that my assassin actually has combo. I just don't have an opportunity to use it yet. Dang it. Okay, it looks like they have some ranged abilities. Oh no, it's him. That's right. I I, I, I wasn't looking for a second then. I came back and I wasn't being attacked. Um, yes, yeah, so they're moving out of the way. 
Uh, wait, what? Hildy, why don't you have combo equipped? Ah, I seem to have turned combo off. I don't really know why. Um, kind of stupid of me, to be honest. Um, I will have to re-equip that soon, before... Definitely before the next fight, because I think the next fight is going to be the last one in the series. It depends on what um, the Judge Master Sid has to say. I, I don't know what he's going to say, to be honest. It's been so long since I played this game. And I'll tell you the truth, I don't quite remember what comes next, which is kind of cool. Because it's really rare that I... I'll hit those three. I leave the Lamia. You can have to deal with her by hand. Oh, there you go. Another 300 damage. Someone are doing an amazing job this fight. Uh, I'm going to bring him up to here because you should be able to air in the Lamia. I actually do want to. Yeah, we go. Cool. Max range, but it does hit. Well, it is in range, it might not hit. I want to say it will, though. 80% is a good chance. There we go. Cool. So, started to wear her down now. This is like actually kind of a. I wish there were more monsters. Like, and there were. <laughs> I don't want to like say, yeah, no, throw a thousand of them against me, but I, I quite like this defend your corner kind of thing. It's kind of cool. Cool, cool. Twister. We kind of expected that to hit. Um, I'm gonna. I, defensive Marsh has got. What have you got? You've got nothing. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, we'll just use Marsh to hit this guy. Oh, dog. Uh, right. I'm gonna go for the chivalry. Oh, okay, I'm not going for the chivalry. <laughs> going to go for her. It should be an, an easy like 50 damage, I think. I'm going to move a step back because I would like for them to come down here. It does mean obviously risking that they can hit me some more, but it means that I can actually kill them quicker. Gonna throw out another other unicorn if for it there. No, might as well. Probably didn't still got his oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'll let I'm thinking about this one. What about Ramu? Because I'm sure you absorb one of these. Nope. Okay, well. I'm gonna risk it. Okay, that was pretty worth it. Double knockout, and he only took damage in exchange. I'm going to pull him back now, though, because I think he's definitely done his job. He has put out miraculous amounts of damage this fight. Um, so back he comes. The assassin isn't going to quite be in range. I think. Oh no, she is. She got enough range to use her spirit magic. 
might not hit though because it is straight on. Okay, cool. So, well, they're both pretty low. Oh, that's cheeky. Oh. Okay, we might lose the Paladin. But we've still got four people, so it won't be the worst thing. And he's done a great job holding the line. Okay, he's down. But he did a great job holding the line. You cannot commend him enough for that. Um, it's obviously sad to lose a teammate, but... Nechbekana. It's an odd name, given by monster standards. Right, here we go. Um... Okay, cool. This should connect. I mean, that's a lot of hit chance. There we go, it does. That's the one really brilliant thing about Banger. They do have two space weaponry. They don't have any archers, but they have that, and it's quite powerful. We'll be able to move him up. Oh, okay, so... Can't get in range with anyone else. Unless... No, can't. <laughs> There we go, cool. She can end the fight. And then we'll be on to... Or not. To really just... Ugh, fine. Okay, she can't quite end this. We'll have to wait. Oh, okay, she tried, though. She genuinely tried. Kudos to her. This is gonna hurt. Not preferable. You can't do anything back here. Actually, you can get some uh, XP from healing. That'd be nice. I'm gonna rush through it because there's no reason to just watch. It's not a play, it's just me getting XP. Oh, the man who is the man of the. No, I don't wanna waste his judge points. I'm just gonna try and hit him head on. There we go. Oh, it's done! So Michael Omarsh is now on four judge points, which is great for the last fight. I am going to be quiet though, because obviously it's going to go into a cutscene now. 